Hey guys, here with another video. So I decided that I wanted to do January favorites. I know that it's February and actually February is like half over now, but that's okay because you know what? I wanna do a favorites video now and I wanna talk about all my January favorites and I didn't wanna wait all the way to this end of this month to do it, so I'm gonna do it now. So I have seen these favorite videos a lot. I actually really like them, but whenever I thought about filming my own, I was like, why? I, I use the same stuff all the time. But then I realized I do add in things ever so often that are new. So I think I'm gonna do one of these, I mean, maybe not every month, but once in a while. I'm gonna be showing you stuff, um, body, makeup. Those are the categories today. Sometimes I might add in other things, but today I will start with these awesome boots. Okay, so these I got at the, kind of the beginning of January. Oh my gosh, they have become my favorite boots ever. And the kind of sad, annoying part about it is I don't know where to tell you guys to get these if you want a pair because they were on clearance at the store um, called Burlington Coat Factory. I don't know if they have those everywhere, but they have them where I live. When I lived in LA, they did not have them, probably because you don't need coats in LA. Um, anyway, so they had these boots there and they were the only ones because they were on sale and I saw them and I was like, what, those are cool. When I first tried them on, they fit kind of stiff and so I was like, oh no, do they not fit? And then I was like, I don't care. I'm gonna make them fit because they're cute. Um, turns out they do fit really well and they're super comfortable. So they're just these like tall boots and I don't even know what the brand are, brand is. Like it says Groove on the bottom. I don't know. I mean, they're, they were like cheapy shoes. So I don't think they're like name brand, but they're my favorite and I wear them with a lot of things. You can wear them with like dresses or leggings or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna just be wearing the mess out of these all the way as long as I can until it's basically summer and it's like too hot to wear them and then I won't be able to wear them anymore, but they're super comfortable. So that's my shoe clothing category favorite for the month of January. Next thing for body. So I ordered this Mr. Bean, it's called Mr. Bean Coffee Bean Scrub with skin loving organic coconut oil, vitamin E and sea salt. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I ordered this on Zulily actually. Um, I love Zulily. Anyway, it has a website on the back. It says Bean bodycare.com. I'll try to link below um, some of the products that I'm using so that you guys know. This stuff is amazing though. It does smell straight up like coffee. Like whenever I use it, Austin he takes a shower for me and he's like, did you use that scrub? Cause it, it actually is like scrubbing yourself in coffee grounds. But it says that it helps with rough, dry skin, it has stretch marks, cellulite. I don't know, jury's still on that cause I definitely have some stretch marks and I definitely scrub it in those areas. So we'll see if they fade. My experience with stretch marks, side note, has been like in my stomach area just from having my three babies and they've mostly gone away after like a year after I have a baby. So I don't know if it'll be this stuff or just the fact that maybe they'll just go away on their own, but I'll let you guys know. For sure it makes your skin super soft. Like this stuff, like when I come out of the shower, my skin is just so soft. And this time of the year, my skin is so dry cause it's so cold. So this stuff, I'm, I'm a fan. Moving on to skincare face, I guess. Um, I actually, side note, I'm like all over the place, you guys, I'm sorry. I haven't filmed a video in so long that whenever I start filming again, my brain, my brain is just like blah, 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 blah. I will be filming a skincare routine video at some point, so let me know if you're interested in that because I've been using kind of the same stuff for a long time. I love my aloe vera gel from Trader Joe's. So I was watching, I don't remember what YouTuber I was watching, some YouTube guru, and she said that she used aloe vera gel on her face like after she, um, she, she I was about to say shampooed her face. After she washed her face and then put her lotion, or before she put her lotion on, she used aloe vera gel and she said it helped with acne. And I was like, what? And I never really struggled with acne that much, but I would always get just random breakouts like on my face. I'm telling you guys, when I start using aloe vera gel, I do not get zits ever. Like, rarely. I mean, maybe like one zit a year. This stuff works miracles. I don't know what it is about aloe vera gel. And I know aloe vera is really good for your body and your skin. I use some in my hair sometimes too. Not the gel, but the liquid form of it. Um, but whenever I started using this stuff, my skin changed. Like it cleared up, it didn't have any weird bumps, it opened my pores. So this is officially my favorite and this will be my favorite in every video um, or every month. This is always, I've been using this for over, probably like two years now I think. And I just buy the one from Trader Joe's because it's really inexpensive, it's aloe vera gel. I am loving the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. They have like two different or maybe even three different um, versions of the Maybelline Fit Me. They have just like the normal one and then I think there's like a, I don't remember the other one. It's like a glow something or other, I don't know. But then they came out with this new matte poreless one and I used to use the original uh, Maybelline Fit Me and then they came out with this and I was like, oh, let me try it. And so I tried it and I love it. I use the color is 355 but I actually have to mix it. It's not my exact skin tone, it's a little light but then the other one was a little dark 
you know, there's only like two options normally. Anyway, that's another story. But there's 355 and then there's another um, option for if you have deeper dark brown skin, deep, delicious, buttery brown skin. <laughs> But that one was too dark. So anyway, I had to mix it. Long story short, I have to mix this usually with something else. But I love this stuff. And I've tried to go to like the higher end, um, the higher end foundation. Like I just got the NARS foundation, which is good, but I hate to admit it, it's really expensive and it's actually not my favorite. I really wanted it to be my favorite because of how much I paid for it, but I still like this better. And then I also tried the MAC um, liquid. I don't remember which one, MAC Cosmetics uh, Foundation. And I like that one too, but yet again, this is still my favorite. So a lot of times what I will do is I'll mix in um, all of them, just so I'm using all of them together with this. But oh, you guys, if you're looking for um, a really good foundation, this is great. Now, if you have oily skin, I don't know if this is the, the thing for you. It's um, because I have like combination skin, normal to dry. Um, so this is great for me. And another trick, a lot of times, I mentioned this before, what I will do is I will mix this in with my lotion, my uh, moisturizer, so that it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, um, and it's a lot just easier to apply, and it just, I love it. It just, it goes on your skin, makes your skin look amazing, smooth, awesome. Um, the next makeup thing that I'm loving right now is this Tarte Flush Cheek Stain. I've been using this for years as well. A lot of the things that I have, I just, once I find something I like, I can't stop using it, I just keep using it. Uh, but it's Tarte Cosmetics and it's flush. It's called Cheek Stain and it's in the color Super Fruit Complexion. Ooh, mine looks dirty though. Rub it on my face all the time, sorry. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And it's a cheek stain. So instead of having to put on like a powder blush, I like using this because I feel like it looks so much more natural. Girl, guys, I'm not like a makeup person. Is this how you do this? Do you like, can you even see that? I don't know. You know, you... Makeup is not my thing, but this stuff is awesome and also as a, as a mom of three kids when I literally just slap makeup on my face and then run out the door This is slappable. You can just slap this on your cheeks rub it in and it works great It's a little pricey because Tarte Cosmetics, you know, hoity-toity has to be all expensive But it lasts forever like I don't think I've rebought this in over a year I mean you just need a tiny bit to, to stain your cheeks and it works great. It also gives you that dewy look that ooh, dewy and like fresh like I just Splash water on my face, but I didn't because obviously I just did my makeup. So why would I splash water on my face? Um, I am back into using perfume. I say back into using because usually right when I have a baby, I don't like to spray myself with perfume only because you know like I'm snuggling and nursing and all that jazz, and it's like they're just right all up in your chest. And I don't know. I feel like I just don't like to wear perfume. But Maddox is four months now. Probably when this video goes up, he'll be four months, and I still hold him obviously and snuggle him, but. I don't know, I just feel like he's not like laying on me as much as he used to and, and I just got tired of smelling stank, eh? My favorite go-to perfume, I have a couple, um, is Juicy Couture. I love this stuff, it smells so good. Oh, I just sprayed myself in the face. I also love that they sell it at Walmart and Target because let's be honest, that's where I am at most of the time, Walmart or Target. You know some perfumes they only sell at department stores, that's all. That's the only place you can get them. I love that you they sell this at Walmart or Target for a little less expensive and it smells really, 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 really good. I also love the Be Delicious by DKNY, that's also another favorite, but this one, I just, I feel like it lasts with me, lasts on me all day and it smells amazing and it's not like $5,000. I'm not trying to spend that much on perfume. I always feel like these videos are so boring, but maybe you found um, some products that you didn't already know or found some other stuff to try. Um, so I guess that's the point of favorite videos. Let me know below if you like favorites and you want to see more. I'm excited to be back filming on my channel. I am Jazz. Let me know if, of other videos you'd like to see. I will be doing a hair update. I'm going to be doing a separate hair uh, video, like separate hair product update video. Um, speaking of hair, my hair, I know I did not relax my hair. I've had that asked, um, but oh my, I just are lay, girl. Um, no, I did not relax my hair. I'm still 100% natural. I just got my hair straightened uh, a couple weeks back because I wanted to get my ends clipped and the girl did an amazing job. She straightened it and it's winter, so my hair doesn't revert as quickly in the winter because it's not humid and nasty. So. To answer that, I will be doing a hair update video soon, and I didn't add any favorite uh, hair hair products because I've been making my own stuff lately. Let's just, I'm just gonna leave it there. I've been using homemade products, and they have been working better than all of the store-bought products that I've been spending hundreds of dollars on, not hundreds, but anyway. I will do a separate hair video. Also leave in the comments below videos you'd like to see. I'm really excited to be back filming. I just wanna say thank you to you guys who have been supporting my channel. 
I will be doing also, um, not sure when, but I want to do a giveaway because I hit 100,000 subscribers when I wasn't even uploading. And I just want to thank all of you for subscribing and like all the people who have tweeted me like, when's Brick Fritz Breakdown coming back? I miss it. Like you guys are so supportive. And I know you know that I'm a busy mom and like it's hard to keep up with extra videos or, or filming videos. And also I'm really trying to edit these on my own. So that's another thing. But I just appreciate your support. So that's all I have. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.